Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. This is the only AMC stock you should be interested in for the foreseeable future. I will also summarize what AMC did today, what this signifies for the future, and why tomorrow will be a chaotic, crazy day due to the release of CPI or discussed. This will influence the movement of AMC, which will influence the movement of SBY, which will influence the movement of the entire market. Before I break anything down about it, before I go into the specifics of how this can advance AMC, there are a few things I must mention first. To begin with, I am not a financial planner. Ensure that you accept none of this as financial advice. In addition, if you want to see more videos like this, please click the like button. It is not simply to my advantage if I miss the full app community. Let's go on to video. As you all are aware, AMC was down over 5% for the day, and it is currently taking a knock. Ape was a bit emerald. It's up roughly 5%. Before there is a continuation to the downward, it's possible that this game will be full. I will note, though, that both AP and AMC have these holes well down below, and I believe they will likely fill them in the near future. Right? The immediate future. Before we fill any gaps, before the gap fill arrives, we could cause them to travel upwards or downwards. Right? And I would want to notice whether the gap fill will be instantaneous or if there will be one push up before it continues. And I believe this will depend greatly on CPI for both APE and AMC. See, there's a void here below. Are we going to get the rug yanked out from under us immediately to fill the void, or will AMC see a bit of a bounce first? I will speculate on what could happen tomorrow that could impact AMC and the entire market. So just so you guys are aware, Tomorrow before the market opens, one hour before the market opens, we have CPI year over year, core CPI, month over month, CPI, month over month core CPI, and a plethora of other metrics and statistics coming out, and it will be really important. Now, in addition to that, approximately one and a half hours after the market opens, there will be Fed speakers, so please be prepared. Tomorrow, there will be three speakers from the Federal Reserve. They will affect market movement. Now, I'd like to discuss the forecast. I will actually provide more information. I do have some forecasts for you regarding how this could ultimately influence the market and AMC. However, I shall cover those in a few moments. However, I feel compelled to remark that at least a 6.2% year-over-year increase in CPI is anticipated. This is the inflation rate year-over-year. 5.5% for core CPI year over year, followed by a 0.4% increase month over month. I'll review these data once again in a few moments. There will be a new method for calculating the data after examining it. As you can see, food will play a significant role. This does not demonstrate housing, though, and that will be the deciding factor. Essentially, we're about to witness an entirely new method of calculation. After a year in which wholesale and retail pricing for used automobiles went out of sync, housing will account for more than 44% of the economy, while the importance of used automobiles has diminished. Therefore, it will be quite interesting. Things are going to change dramatically. We do not require complete information regarding that. Also, here is a chart with the original and changed KPI, which is very essential to note. This is the core CPI which excludes food and energy cost. There were cases in which the original appeared to underestimate CPI, and the new, corrected version may increase the figure. There is no assurance that this will be extremely challenging or easy. I don't really know what to think. But I do find it a bit odd that they've suddenly altered their method of calculating this just after the release of the employment report. I'm not sure. Guys, it is highly suspect. In addition, the CPI for December was revised to show an increase of 0.1% month over month instead of a decrease of 0.1%. As a result, they are making modifications to earlier data. Who knows what effects this will have? But all we can do is wait and see. In a few minutes, I'll speak specifically about this topic. In addition, there are publications indicating that there could be a significant market shock. We lack true knowledge. Nobody knows for sure. I cannot make such a forecast. We do anticipate it to be somewhat warm. However, based on a large amount of data, we just do not know the degree to which it will become more difficult month to month or year to year. 
the average retail price of gasoline increased by almost 12 cents. Therefore, this will play a significant role. Additionally, energy has increased by roughly 20%. There is still a substantial number of calls in the markets. People remain optimistic. The bulls have not yet surrendered. Economists are also of the opinion that the CPI peaked in June at 9.1%, according to their statements. According to Megan Green and numerous other senior economists, however, another wave of high inflation is possible. Now I'd also like to mention that another economist, George Ball, is the chairman of Sanders. Harris, Morris, this is significant because he highlighted what he believes would likely occur. He believes that gas costs would inflate the CPI, which is why the anticipation is high. But the core CPI is what we must monitor. And he did remark that anything below 5.5% may really cause a market uptrend. And anything above 5.5% could be detrimental to the market. Now, in terms of AMC, we have low volume and we're falling on low volume, which indicates that there's a lot of selling pressure. And this short volume percent is likely to increase indicating that there will be even more shorting and selling pressure dictating the stock. Indeed, we can see highlights of this here. The short interest is increasing. In just a couple of days, millions of shares were shorted, nearly doubling the amount. Just be prepared, gentlemen. There is considerable preparation for what is to come. So let's dissect this more. What happens if the annual inflation rate is 6.5%? That is going to be awful. I anticipate a market crash. If we get 6.3 to 6.5%, I think I need to make these 6.4% whoopsie daisy. Please be prepared for a decline of 2% in the SBI. It will also be unpleasant because it will be hot. 6 to 6.5% 6 would likely be acceptable, and the market may possibly rise by 1 to 2%. But I'll just say 1% or something along those lines, slightly to the plus side. If it is between 6% and 6.2% and anything below or at 5.9%, it is once again low. Correct? That will be extremely good. We could see an upward movement of greater than 2%. How does this affect AMC? AMC would likely adhere to this pattern. If the market were to decline by 4%, AMC value would likely decline by 8 to 10%. If the CPI is abysmal, 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 and the market as a whole crashes, a will finally fall to fill this void, possibly to 1.89. Acceptable I want to be as explicit as possible. And allow me to demonstrate this to you one last time. Don't forget to monitor year-over-year -year and month-over-month -month market forecast, as well as the release of numerous scholarly papers and articles. They do not frequently discuss month-to-month. -month. I tend to focus more on year-over-year -year and whether or not they deem it positive or negative. Therefore, simply be on the watch. Sorry, which is it? Be vigilant here and on this side to be prepared for this information. Again, everything is being released at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time right now. I apologize, it is 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. This is Pacific Time. In fact, I'm referring to the hour preceding the markets opening at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. This is when the data is released. Acceptable, please be prepared and do what needs to be done. Thank you all for listening and see you on the moon because the long-term future remains quite bright.